Hey everybody, Joe Cortez of FrontRowPreps.com, powered by Chicken Ranch Casino and Golden Bear Physical Therapy. Pleased to be joined by my colleagues, James Burns to my left, Ron Agostini to my right. Time now for our week one prediction. Well, I technically this is week zero, as dubbed by the Sac Joaquin section. So it's time for our week zero predictions, presented by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. Let's jump right in, fellas. Let's start with our marquee matchup of the week. We're here at Joe Devley Stadium in Turlock, California. The host Turlock Bulldogs take on Freedom High of Oakley. This is a big game against two really big D1 powers. Who do you guys like in it? No, I like Turlock in this one. I like the fact that they're at home. I like the fact that they got a lot of key returners coming back in key spots. And I, we were talking about this earlier off camera. I, I feel like Turlock has this swag about them. That they know they're good and they're ready to prove it. You know, they've kind of been stuck in the shadows of Central Catholic for a number of years now. And, and James Peterson has really built a group that is deep, dynamic, uh, and ready for matchups like this. I think the fact that they have them at home, I like Turlock to open the season with a bang. Ron. I, I agree with you, James. I think the, the program here at Turlock is uptick in recent years. And uh, uh, they've done a great job here. And I, I think they're going to win this first game. Freedom is a real oh, powerhouse, yeah, but I'm going to go with the Bulldogs as well here at Devley Sherlock, Stadium. Sherlock has a major home field advantage here. Absolutely. Let's move on to the other kind of almost a co-main event this yeah. week. Central Catholic hosts Clovis West of Fresno, and Central Catholic went down last year, and I guess they, I guess you could call it an upset. I'm upset that that motorcycle yeah. just ran by. Yeah. I guess you could call it an upset. Uh, now. Golden Eagles come to David Patton Field in Modesto. Who do you like? You know, I, I really like Central Catholic in this one. And I think as long as, and this is going to be true of every prediction show that we do that includes Central Catholic, mm -hmm. as long as they are healthy, healthy. they're going to be the prohibitive favorite. Maybe not in the De La Salle game, but in every game uh, beyond that one, I think that they're going to be the favorite. I like them in this one. Uh, we, talk, again, talked about some of the talent that they have. They're 22. They're starting 22. Might be as good as any starting 22 that they've had in recent memory at that school and that says a lot sure. but it also it also hints at, at the maybe the, the, the lack of depth that they have too. Yeah. so they need to stay healthy uh, I'm excited for this one I, I'm excited to see Nick Sani uh, Sateri Price Frank Clark Dalton DeRossett again big names throughout that starting lineup I like Central Catholic Mondo well. Palominos the uh, offensive lineman yeah. who wasn't there last year yeah. he's almost like a newcomer yeah. and he's yeah. a senior yeah yeah I uh, I like Central Catholic too even though as we know, Clovis West is a perennial oh, power in the central absolutely. section. But Central Catholic is really, they have got that core talent every year. Yeah. And you're looking at Sonny and DeRossa and Olivo and, and the rest. Oh. And if they stay healthy, Central Catholic will be a beast this year. Hey, not for nothing. It's supposed to be 102 degrees when De La Salle comes to David Patton Field. Wow. That's just a little something to keep an eye on. Yeah. We'll get to that next week. I like the Raiders in this one also. Moving on to um, a smaller school game, mm -hmm. Oakdale. Well, Oakdale's a large school, Division Three, taking on longtime rival Sonora in their annual clash. Who do you like? I, Start with Ron. Oakdale. I mean, it's a great, it, it's a great rivalry. Has been for a long time, but Sonora, I think, has uh, they're they're vulnerable this year in the mother load, and I think they're teed up for the Mustangs. Yeah, you know, what's great about this rivalry, as old and as ancient as it is, every, years old. every year this is the this is the game that everybody gets geeked yeah. up for. We ran an informal poll at frontrowpreps.com a couple weeks that. ago, yeah. and, and Oakdale Sonora took off. Yeah. Everybody, this is this is the game that everybody wants to kick the season off with, um, and rightfully so. These are these are longtime rivals. Uh, they really go at each other. They use each other as a barometer for, for where they're at coming out of the summer season. Um, but I think as is, has been the case for the past decade, it's gonna be it's gonna be Oakdale in this one. Sonora Sonora figures to have a tough start. They're young, like last year, young and inexperienced, and they've got a monster non-conference schedule. So, uh, starting with Oakdale, and you know what, Trent Merzon has a quarterback he likes. He has a stable of running backs. He's got he's got linemen that he likes, yeah. and he's got two at least two all-conference returners on a defense. Uh, that usually bodes well for the Mustangs. Yeah, I can't wait, yeah. wait, wait to watch uh, Zeke Samar this year. Yeah. I think he's been a big year. That guy averaged over 10 yards a carry last yeah. year. That's yeah. ridiculous. How big is this game? Even my sister who lives in Michigan yes. voted this game <laughs> yes. as the game of the week. 
Okay, moving on. We've got Rippin Christian, a small school, mm -hmm. a powerful small school, yeah. moving up in class to take on the Davis Spartans in week zero. Uh, Davis can be exciting, just like they were last year with the dynamic passing game. Yes. Who do you like, Brunzi? Yeah, no, I like I like Rippin Christian in this in this game. You know, Me RC too. RC's stepping into the arena with a large school team with a lot of weapons, two one thousand yard receivers, a quarterback they like. But you know, what, RC has a playmaker in Sean McGovern and Drake Nelson roaming that secondary. They got big boys up front. They're ready for a matchup like this. They proved it last year in the playoffs. Um, I think this is going to be a signature moment for this program. Ron? The last time we saw RC, they were right here in a section final yeah. against Fillmore. And uh, as we've seen in recent years, these are not your daddy's RC nights. No. They are pretty big up front. They are. And I, I think they have an edge in this game. I'll go, I'll go with the Knights, too. Okay, moving on to another team against teams that figure to make a lot of noise in their respective leagues, in their leagues. Uh, Grigori hosts Buhat Colony, who I think may be the number one team in this region. Yeah. Brinzi, who do you like? I like the Thunder in this one. Uh, you know, Grigori's been a team that uh, they maybe underperformed last year and they've got a lot of talent back. Uh, they might be coming into this matchup hungry, but I think that Buat Colony is, is just as hungry. They're title starved, and they've got a rich collection of talent, uh, beginning with Eulis Dixon and Trey Pastor, and then you've got the coaching combination of Kevin Navarra. I believe this is a team that is looking to get the season off on the right foot. I'm going to go with the Thunder in this Of course, Trey Pastor recently committed to the University of California, yeah. where he'll yeah. join Turlock High's Everett Johnson. Big offensive lineman. They'll both be uh, Golden Bears next year. Ron, who do you like in this matchup? I like Grigori, just to be contrarian. Just to be contrarian. Just to be a little bit different. Buhack just to is, fall a game behind uh, Burnsy and I, right? De yeah, de definitely. Uh, Buhack is the favorite here, but uh, uh, I like uh, I like Grigori here. I think uh, the first year coach Lamar Wallace has has gotten started, got uh, gotten off the right way, and I think their running back Titus Rain, Riney, if he stays healthy. He's gonna have a pretty I saw Buhat Colony at the scrimmage last week at Central Catholic between the Raiders, Thunder, Turlock High, Calaveras. I thought if you could, if you had to grade them out, I mean, they're closer than three coats of paint. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I think I would have given the edge to Buhat Colony that day. I mean, you know, scrimmages are scrimmages, mm -hmm. but, yeah. but they look ready. Yeah. And they have one of the best, I will say they have the best defensive backfield in all the region. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. So those are just a few of our predictions presented by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. For the rest of our prognostications, you can visit frontrowpreps.com, powered by Chicken Ranch Casino and Golden Bear Physical Therapy. For James Burns, Ron Augustini, I'm Joe Cortez. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.